It's Brian Preston, the money guy. So we've covered 20-year-olds. We've covered 30-year-olds. Let's talk about the 40-year-olds. This okay. is definitely, you're getting to that fork in the road moment. You ought to be thinking about these things. Is a million dollars going to be enough for, for a 40-year-old? We have a lot to know about that. But once again, before I get into the negativity of sure. that, let's talk about just how powerful, because I think a lot of people, and I'm look, I have painted a picture where sometimes I think people watch our content and they say, I get it, 20-year-olds, sky's the, the limit. The sky's the limit. You can be anything you want because you have so much time and opportunity. Even 30-year-olds, because remember, 20-somethings, especially a 20-year-old, 95% mm-hmm. of your million-dollar account is going to be the growth, not your contribution, but the growth of your army of dollar bills for a 30-something. For a 30-year-old, it's going to be 89% right. of your account value is going to be the growth, only 11% is yours. But, guys, that's not, the, that's not the end of it. You still have an opportunity, even at age 40, 77% of your net worth or your million dollars at retirement could be from your army of dollar bills working harder with the, you know, than you can with your hands, your back, your brains. It's actually the compounding growth. You would only have to save about $780 a month for the rest of your working career to have a million dollars. And this assumes that you didn't really do a lot of the hard work early on in your 20s and 30s. This assumes starting at zero. And so the question becomes, okay, if I do this and I get to a million, I hit the seven-figure status, will that be enough for me if I'm in my 40s? Well, if we think about we have 20 years to retirement, right? A million dollars today for someone in their 40s is going to be worth about... $543,000 $543,000 when they get to retirement in today's dollar. So if you have a 5% withdrawal rate sustainable over the long term, that could generate for you about $27,000 a year in today's dollars. So $27,000, it's certainly better than what the 20 said when it was like in the teens of thousands. So we're getting a little bit better but will that get the job done? Yeah, I mean, I, I do get excited because it's getting closer to seeming like a reasonable sum, especially if you're debt free and you're in retirement. But I'm still answering probably not. Probably I mean, because I don't want to. I don't want my retirement to feel like it's just this compromise where I'm minimizing every decision I have to make financially. That just seems that seems tough because you have still have a lot of life to live. Before you get to retirement, I, I, I just don't know that that's the lifestyle I, I'm looking and for. And there's a lot of things that are going to change. Even if you say at 40 years old, you know what? Yeah. Okay. If I budget really, really well, I can live off of that number. But man, you're talking about if you're planning to work in all that 25 years, circumstances can change. Inflation can change. Macroeconomic factors can change. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of stuff that can change that might suggest that may be a little more lean than you want to be going into requirement, we'll so going let, into retirement. Let's go ahead and help our financial mutants. If we know a million dollars would be cutting it close, how much should they be saving? What's the goal amount and how do we get there? All right, so if we want to replace 100% of our pre-retirement income, and we assume that our wages increase at about 3% a year, and we can grow our investments at about 8%, and when we retire, we have a 5% long-term sustainable withdrawal rate, how much we need to save? We know right now for someone who's 45 years old, the median income is about $54,000 a year. So if they wanted to replace that level of lifestyle when they get to retirement, they would need to save by age 65 about 1.9, just shy of $2 million for retirement. What I think is pretty powerful about this that $54,000, when it's inflated up mm-hmm. for, for all your pay raises and stuff, it puts you at about $100,000 at retirement. Of pre-retirement I mean, yeah, income, yeah. Because that's, yeah. that's right, you're, you're not, a little over $98,000. I think hundred grand. people would be like, yeah, I think I can make mm-hmm. hundred grand would be I great. Could, I could live off that. So really, if you are somebody who's in your mid-40s, maybe your goal is not a million dollars. Based upon our calculations, it's right there, right under $2 million is going to get the job done. So now let's talk about how do you get there? So we have it, you know, look, if you're trying to figure out if you're 45 years of age, if you want to spot check where you are currently today, you need to be right around Mm $332,000 to make that happen. And even though you have $332,000, we'd want you still saving about $560 a month until you retire. And remember, wealth building is like squeezing a balloon. Maybe you're 45 and say, guys, I'm I'm not at 
331 yet. Uh, maybe I'm only at 250 or 200 or 100. Well, what that means is that saving $560 a month probably won't do it for you. You probably have to kick up that savings rate. But maybe you're on the other end. Maybe you're someone who says, guys, I'm, I'm way past that. I've got $500,000 saved. I've got $600,000. Maybe you can decrease that savings rate if your goal is only to replace about $54,000 in today's dollars. What you have to do in your 40s that I think is different from your 30s and your 20s is you have to do an assessment of where you are and which part of that balloon you need to squeeze. It's kind of, I've heard you say this before, but it's kind of like a fork in the road moment yeah, where you exactly. decide which way you're going to go. Yeah, I definitely think this is the point where you've got to take inventory. Do you need to, if you've saved enough, congratulations, you get to start making some of the fun mm -hmm. decisions like prepaying debt and other things. However, if you're behind, it's exactly what Bo said, hit the accelerator, save more money so that you can hit the hit retirement with some momentum.